everyone myself Ami Mehta and in computer network let us see the terminology what is HTTP so basically uh, HTTP is a, a web application layer protocol which defines how web clients request web pages from web server and how server transfer web pages to clients so it is uh, we already discussed in previous session what is web and uh, so HTTP, HTTP is basically web's application layer protocol so it is one type of protocol and it is a protocol of application layer in this protocol it defines how the web clients can request web pages from web server and how server transfer web pages to the clients now when a user requests a web page for example clicks on a particular hyperlink then the browser sends http request message for the objects in the page to the server now the server receive the request and respond with http response message that contain that object so object uh, we already discussed that what is a web page so web page is a collection of uh, it consists of objects and now objects is nothing but the various types of files it may be http file uh, or it may be sorry it, it may be html file or it may be images java applet anything okay so it send the object so http uses tcp as its underlying transport protocol and the http client first initiate a tcp connection with the server so from uh, tcp ip model and osi model http uses tcp as it uh, transport transport protocol so once the first word http do so the first http client uh, initiate a tcp connection with the server so whenever a tcp uh, connection is established the browser and the server processes access tcp through their socket interfaces so uh, uh, here it is that uh, it request for particular uh, connection and uh, after establishment of connection uh, then uh, it established the uh, server processes access uh, tcp through their socket interfaces so now uh, from client server model and peer to peer model http follows client server model we already discussed two types of model in network application that uh, it is a client server or peer to peer model from this two http follows client server model now what is client do a browser that request receive and display web object so uh, client uh, what is the task of the client or what is the uh, what client basically do so it is the nothing but a browser that request then receive uh, and display the web object now what will server do server web server sends objects in response to request now there is a two types of http connection non persistent http and persistent http so in non persistent http connection is the one that is closed after the server sends the requested object to the client in other words the connection is used exactly for one request and one response it means that after the fulfillment of one request server close the connection so for downloading multiple object it required multiple connections non persistent connection are the default mode for http/1.0 now let us discuss it first it send that connection is op open then server says yes then it to send the request for particular object so the server sends the data after sending data this server close the connection 
so this is for one object now again uh, this clients want to another object then again they ask tcp is open uh, it says okay then again it's a request for another object it sends data and uh, again the connection will close so uh, the number of uh, object we required the number of time we have to establish a connection and server close that connection after immediately sending that requested data now what is persistent http so with persistent connection the server leaves the tcp connection open after sending responses and hence the subsequent request and responses between the same client and server can be sent so there is not not requirement to each and every time we have to establish a connection for every object uh, when they are same client and then same server are there so the server closes the connection only when it is not used for a certain configurable amount of time for example it wait for uh, two minutes and for example so after two minutes server closes the connection but immediately it will not close the connection like non-persistent http so it requires as little as one rtt for all the reference object with persistent connection the performance is improved by 20 percent than non-persistent http connection now the persistent connection are the default mode for http 1.1 okay so this is uh, basically http two type of http persistent http and non-persistent http now let us discuss what is email so as with ordinary postal mail email is an asynchronous communication medium in which people send and read messages when it is convenient for them without having to coordinate with other people's schedules so nowadays we all use this email id email addresses and uh, we send emails so basically it is the communication in which we have not dependent on anyone and we have not coordinate with other people's schedule as per our conveniency we uh, read messages and we also send messages in contrast with postal mail electronic mail is fast easy to distribute and inexpensive modern email has many powerful feature including messages with attachment hyperlinks HTML formatted text and embedded photos so along with messages we can also send attachment or files hyperlinks then html formatted text and embedded photo now basically email has three major components so user agent mail server and protocol simple mail transfer protocol these three are the major components of email so this is basically uh, alas sends her email to local mail forwarder so this is allies email server now allies server sends email to b.net's mx so this is b.net's email server now bob retrieve messages from his server and here is getting the mail so this is the simple procedure uh, basically how email communication is done okay so this is a small uh, demonstration how we can use email okay thank you